Hi everyone, so yesterday we have done some more testing on the PTR for season 24. If you have seen yesterday's video, I've already talked about the wave of light monk there a little bit, which is a kind of indirect outcome of the buffs to the mystic ally items, the crudest boots and the bindings of the lesser gods that the monk has received in this patch. So what happens is you can use the rabbit strike weapon and it will be buffed from those two items. So essentially you can play other skills on the monk and this has traditionally been used with Wraith of Light as the pushing variant of that setup. Since those items got so heavily buffed and we have the ethereal items now, there is actually a really huge boost to Wraith of Light now to the point where it is extremely competitive with other S tier builds in a game like Firebird Wizard for example. So on the PTR right now we have solo clears of over GR140 at quite low paragon and uh, this is uh, definitely looking extremely strong. So if you compare this for example to Firebirds here, it is uh, almost on the same level, slightly ahead. Um, so it is actually looking extremely good. This is actually quite funny I believe because they wanted to give Inas some more relevance and get rid of all those Tempest Rush builds because Monk has so many Tempest Rush builds and they actually did two at the same time with that and that is amazing I believe. And people generally really like Wave of Light I think Inas can also turn out to be extremely well liked if they you know, give some adjustments to the pet AI and uh, just give it more power. But Wave of Light is also a really good alternative. And what we've been doing here is speedruns. We are lasting 130s. This is on non season. So keep in mind we don't have ethereal items. And our power level with our high paragon monks here corresponds to something like roughly 3000 paragons or so on season with a good ethereal item. So the ethereal items give you a huge boost. In the monk's case, something like six tiers, maybe seven tiers. Uh, it makes it easier to keep up your resources, which is a bit of an issue, but you can play around it. And uh, in general, this meta seems to fit almost exactly right in between red runs and firebird runs. Firebird runs will be slightly slower and slightly higher. So maybe a minute slower and two, three, four tiers higher and red runs will be maybe a minute faster and two, three, four tiers lower. So this is actually almost entirely perfectly balanced and that's the really funny part about it. For the monks, there are two different setups here. We've been running this for a while and trying out various things. Here you see the lightning rune pillars of the ancients, which is actually pretty amazing. So it looks really cool and you kind of like summon these, these uh, bells and they will emanate lightning in all directions. So really cool. And it does create a bit of FPS lag for me, but it wasn't unplayable or something. And uh, in general, this is really close to the fire rune. So you can play both and this seems to be very slightly stronger, especially in the higher tiers when those bells have a bit of a chance to actually uh, zap enemies a bit over time because it lasts three, three seconds each. And we also went into GR150 with this and it also seems like it can be a kind of decent trash killer in 150 but most likely it's not going to beat the necro builds like Scythe or Corpse Explosion. So overall quite high flexibility here. I also quickly made a Z Monk instead of a ZDH. So this is what we try to see like if we can uh, help with the toughness a bit. And we were running triple Monk. Yeah you heard it right. Three Monks in one party running speed 130s. Who would have thought about that? And it actually worked pretty well. The thing is with those Wave of Light Monks, they are a little bit squishy. So even our High Paragon players here had a bit of trouble and we were running something like Saint Archer's Gloves and just you know trying to give them more toughness. Even though it's an LD build, it's not all that tanky. And the Z Monk can definitely be a pretty good alternative here. Especially because the ZDH doesn't give as many buffs to those monks as it usually does compared to other builds because the monks essentially carry a ZDH on their head with their Zogrin's Grace helm that gives them 150% additive damage. So you don't really need those ZDH buffs. But they are still better than the monk in terms of offense. So at the, at the later stage you definitely want to go to the age. But I believe for like a low paragon setup, season start, it would definitely be viable to just run this with triple monk. The monk giving uh, the, the, the mantra spam, giving in a sanctuary. There's actually a very interesting mechanic that we tested where you can use the mind's eye on the Z monk and you can give your Wave of Light monks extra spirit regeneration from that effect. 
so this actually counts for those. What doesn't count is the Cyclone Strike, which you need to uh, use for bindings of the lesser gods, so every monk has to do their own Cyclone Strike, but this is uh, probably fine and it also gives them the damage reduction from their shoulders. So you can also stack these different mantra effects, which is quite interesting. You can just have to demonk spamming the mantra of healing and then the other monks can go with a tax speed mantra or dodge mantra or also just stack the shields from the mantra of healing. So definitely some stuff to be explored and in general this is very new and refreshing speed matter, so really amazing. You have to keep in mind that this wave of light build actually works mostly well in speed content and in solo content because of this cyclone strike mechanic so if you want to do any kind of like high gr group se sessions 150s uh, the cyclone strike is kind of a big problem but you have to use it to deal damage because this is how the build works you need to cyclone strike enemies and in four men in 150s you will have too many targets so you have to do too many cyclone strikes and it just doesn't really work as well as other uh, high area damage builds that don't destroy the pool on their own and that don't have to like set it up in such a way. So I will be trying to also push this a little bit in solo and to record some footage and talk about it in solo. Uh, I have never played with Light and Push. I did play it in speed farming, GRs and speed farming T16 and all that. It's kind of like a go-to build for monks anyway, but in pushing I haven't done it. So I'll have something ready for you as well in a few days. My feedback to Blizzard here is that this is actually almost perfectly balanced, especially for speedruns. So I wouldn't really tune it down, even though it was an unintended outcome of uh, this whole uh, buff to Monk. And I would rather just work on making Inner also roughly equally strong, so that we can choose Inner runs, that we can choose Wave of Light runs, or Red runs, or Fiber runs, and they're all kind of equal. And also the God the Edge catches up a little bit to the red runs and the fiber runs this patch. Not entirely, but it, it does close the gap a little bit to the point where it is also quite close in overall efficiency. So we would have 4 or 5 XP speed matters for groups, we would have a bunch of different really powerful speed builds on every single class and some powerful push builds on most classes as well. So I think this is really amazing and if there's gonna be any kind of like nerfs to this, I would not nerf more by than one or two tiers because we might find some more tricks, we might find some more optimizations as it usually happens and we're gonna maybe slowly surpass this efficiency that we have achieved in just this two hours, three hours of speed running a bit. But for the most part I think we have found the setup and it's not gonna move much from there. I believe a lot of people will really enjoy a meta like this. It is uh, fast paced, you have monks in there, you have dashes, you have cyclone strike, you do like big powerful bursts with your wave of light. So it is actually pretty cool to play, I believe. And it's not as annoying as the firebird runs with the mirror images running away all the time. It's not as boring as the red runs with, well, you basically do nothing and, and everything dies. So I'd be really excited to play a season like this with that meta and you know see what you can do, see how uh, the, the community will like it. I believe a lot of people will enjoy this. So this is what I wanted to share for today and maybe you also have your own feedback to share for this, uh, something for the devs that you want to mention and uh, maybe we can uh, make this a, a really great patch together. So hope you like this and see you guys next time.